Welcome back to Hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday right here on Why in the Morning. My name is Michelle Ashira. You can follow us across all our social media platforms. That is at Y254 channel. So before we head on, head on for a break, uh, we were having a conversation with the chairman for IYF, uh, Johan Kim. And uh, he was giving us a story on apples, and I was asking if this particular story had anything to do with the change mindset camps that run every single July to the first of August, thirtieth of July, until first first of August. Yes, first of uh, first of August. All oh, right. Yes. And uh, w w where did this uh, program uh, uh, was it initiated or? Does it intertwine with this particular story of uh, uh, just changing your mindset? It comes yes, over, actually, people yeah. interact mm -hmm. with each other and sh share ideas. Yes, uh, especially uh, as I mentioned, uh, those farmers, mm -hmm. and they only thought that it was impossible. Mm -hmm. um, but when they came together and discussed together and they share ideas together, and when they were doing so, uh, there was always a way out. Mm -hmm. And so right now, uh, sitting at home, also watching these, Many youth might also have this mind crossing their thought and thinking that, ah, now it's impossible, it is mm -hmm. difficult. Now they're saying that they are going to open uh, colleges and universities in September, um, but uh, it is difficult. Where do I get? You know, they only think about it in a negative way. Um, but now, if we turn our eyes and also look at it with a mindset that there is always a way, and then I believe that they will also find a way where they can also, in terms of their entrepreneurship, their small businesses, and also find a way to go out as well. Absolutely. And speaking about just changing your mindset mm -hmm. in order to create room for innovation and creativity, uh, you, your team, you put uh, together with your team on the 2nd of July, uh, you met with the President Uhuru Megai Kenyatta and the agenda being the introduction of mind education program in Kenyan schools. So how do you intend to work uh, with the Ministry of Education to implement a uh, mind uh, education program in our schools? Yes, right now, um, first of all, we believe that you know this the way you think, mm -hmm. the way you see, the way you believe in your mind, in your heart, actually it's all formed since you are little. Yeah, so okay. what you see, what you experience, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, what you're exposed to. And through that, now children, they grow up with that mindset. And so that's why we thought that it is very important um, for us to give this mind education in the starting from the primary school and then up to high school and also even up to a university level as well. Because this mindset is also very handy and useful even in terms of um, counseling and guidance as well. And so uh, that's why we have applied and so that we can also do this uh, since primary school. And we believe that this is also needed also for the teachers as well. Mm -hmm. Not only for the teachers, also to the public servants as well. We are working with the right mindset. And not only that, so to accomplish this right now, uh, we are about to uh, uh, start a university called Mahanam University uh, with uh, mind education uh, major as well. And so in terms of education, we are uh, pushing it that way. And in terms of youth, now also through this youth camp, online youth connect, and through these programs, we are also training the youth on mindset as well. Uh, speaking of public service, so uh, one of your institutional appointments, uh, being mind lecturer and advisor for Kenya Prison Service, how does the mind education uh, training help prisoners adjust to life after after being in prison? Yes, uh, actually, um, nowadays, uh, generally in the world, mm -hmm. the word prison is not there. They use it correction of facility. Co all right. Yes. <laughs> so not, it's not like that in Kenya. Kenya mm -hmm. is still Kenya Prison Service, KPS. Um, but now in Korea, many of the countries, they're trying to change the name from prison to correction. And the reason is because while they are in prison, and they should not just be punished. They should have a change before they come back to the society. And, but right now, when you look at the um, data and statistics, uh, many of the uh, prison inmates, they get discharged and they cause a problem and they go back in. And so also Kenya desires also for corrections as well. Mm -hmm. But how are you going to bring the corrections? Just by teaching them how to uh, get a job, uh, how to become a mechanic, how could to become a carpenter, just by teaching them a skills. Yes, so you might learn a skills and get a job, 
but the mindset itself is not changed. Mm -hmm. And because also committing a crime and also uh, doing the mistakes, you know, it all also starts from mm -hmm. and the world of the mind as well. And that's why uh, we both, uh, KPS and also IYF felt that uh, in order for us to bring the true correction, we need to have um, their mental and their mind and their heart to be changed. And that's why uh, we made an MOU and now we are doing the mindset training in the prisons as well. All right. What does the mindset training entail? Does it also go to practical solutions when it comes to the economy, uh, whereby the, when these particular uh, inmates from correction facilities uh -huh. come back to the society and they want to start up something just to, to fight for, for themselves and also their family. Uh, does this particular training program also offer like business advices uh, and, and also training mm -hmm. in which they can partake into? Yes, uh, right now there is no specific program and that we are doing outside. Okay. Um, but right now uh, we are planning for uh, making a a half away home. Half away home, I'm sorry for that. Half away home is a program uh, whereby uh, now prison inmates, when they come out of the prison, now uh, they're, go they're going through a lot of difficulties. They don't have a place where they can adjust themselves mm -hmm. and uh, they don't, they're also rejected by their uh, families as well. Yes, yeah, so that's why we create a half away home where they can come and that they can also adjust themselves in that place. And when they come to that halfway home, we also have like academies where they can learn uh, how to do business and also this, uh, uh, their skills and trainings and in that way. All right, so 30th uh, July is mm -hmm. just a couple of few days. Yes, yes. <laughs> so uh, the mindset education comes uh, yearly uh -huh. uh, from, uh, you said earlier, 30th? Yes, yes. To first 30th of, uh, of uh, July until the 1st of August. All right, so what's always the motive of the trainers as they meet uh, uh, their students during uh, the mindset uh, change camp? Yes, uh, especially uh, as the title goes, mm -hmm. IYF World Youth Connect. And so uh, through this program, we really wanted the whole world youth to connect together. Mm -hmm. And because we believe that you can't succeed just by yourself alone. Mm -hmm. Yes, also for the broader uh, horizon and mm -hmm. also for the success and the happiness of your life, we believe that this connection is also very important. Mm -hmm. And so that's why uh, we have organized this camp um, for the purpose of having the youth to be connected together. All right, so for, this will be our last question. Why should the youth be part of the 2020 Online Youth Connect? And uh, yes, especially, what impact will it be uh, mm -hmm. to them? Yes, especially uh, through this program, uh, first of all, the most important thing, they will, prop, uh, they will uh, for sure bring the change of the mindset. Mm -hmm. And uh, number two, uh, they will have a connection with many youth around the world. And uh, through that, they can interact they can meet and uh, through this I hope they can be connected together and so that also uh, they can you never know uh, visit Europe and visit Asia and uh, also invite them to your homes and make a friends as well uh, I am also here together with my uh, friend here mm -hmm. and we've met uh, through this IYF uh, program about eight years ago and until today uh, we are working together we are friends and uh, in the same way I hope our youth can also uh, reach out and don't, don't only Put yourself uh, in in the uh, in the bowl of uh, in the box of uh, Kenya, mm -hmm. and see yourself in the world world stage, yes, international stage, yes, and then I think you have many opportunities as well. I'm speaking about diversity mm -hmm. because we're uh, during the IYF uh, program for mm -hmm. the youth, uh, they get to interact with the uh, youth from globally. Yes. Do you feel like this is an opportunity for young people to uh, just enhance their leadership skills, not just on the Kenyan uh, level space, but also globally? Uh, yes, uh, I believe that uh, this is a great opportunity for them to also learn the leadership. And because so you don't have to actually uh, experience, before you experience it, uh, you can also hear from other people how their leadership is. Mm -hmm. You can also experience how other people uh, are having the leadership. And uh, many people, you know, as we were organizing this, uh, we were able to realize the way European youth think, the way Kenyan youth thinks are so different. That's why this time as we were preparing for this, to organize was very difficult because the kinds of program that they want and the kinds of program that the Kenyan youth they want was so different. 
their character, the kinds of program that they are used to, you know what I mean, right? Yes. It was so different. And so, uh, as I saw that, uh, there are big differences according to the continents. So also the leadership training and leadership skills must be so different from different continents of the youth. Mm -hmm. And it is an opportunity um, for us to uh, benchmark uh, what is also very useful for us. And they can also benchmark uh, what is uh, the great leadership also in Africa continent as well. Yeah. Yes. And just to wind up, mm -hmm. uh, for the young person who's watching this, and uh, when we started this conversation, we said like the person who is qualified is just being a youth, being yes. a young person, uh, full of dreams and ambition. So going back to how can they get, uh, be, how can they get to be part of IYF program, which is starting on 30th of July uh, till 1st of August, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, how can they just get to be part of this? Particular program? Yes, uh, the best way mm -hmm. is uh, for them to reach out to IYF. Kenya mm -hmm. on Facebook. If you come to the Facebook, right now we are also having the talent show going around. Uh, or, or close to 300 teams, they also participated in this talent show. Mm -hmm. And so you can see also many talents of the youth. And not only that, you will also see many advertisements and also posters mm -hmm. on how you can join. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very simple. You can just uh, fill out on the Google form mm -hmm. and fill out your name and your information. Then we will give you a group. And then on WhatsApp, we are going to give you, make you a group of about 40 youth in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And then uh, through that uh, chatting, you know, group uh, meeting, now you will continuously receive information, how to log in and how to come in, what time to come in, uh, so that you can join the programs together. And uh, we are doing this in partnership together with uh, National, youth uh, uh, National Youth Council and also with Ministry of Youth as well. Yes, yeah, so, so uh, once uh, they come and fully participate in all the programs, we take all the, we check who participated and who didn't participate. And so once they participate in all the program, they will also receive the certificate of participation mm -hmm. signed by me mm -hmm. and also signed by uh, the cabinet secretary of uh, Ministry of Youth as well. Well, this is an opportunity that young person, wherever you are right now and you're watching this particular conversation, you need to jump into this wagon. And uh, for more information, head to uh, IYF Kenya on their Facebook yes. page, right? Yes, that's and just, correct. And just get me part of this particular uh, mindset changing transformation that you can get into understanding that yourself mm -hmm. and uh, just venture into any kind of uh, dream that you want to go into, if it's business that is, uh, this is the right platform uh, platform for you. So at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social media platform at Y254 channel is where you can reach out to us. Thank you very much, Johan, you so much. Johan Kim, yes. for creating time to be with us today. Thank you so much. All right. So uh, for now, we'll be going back to a short musical break and we'll be right back with another interview.